I'm Dr. David Hill and today we're going to be talking about natural home remedies for diarrhea and vomiting in children. So first of all, let's take a moment and say when diarrhea and vomiting for children should not be treated in the home. Largely we're thinking about dehydration. If your child has severe repetitive diarrhea and vomiting together, then they're at risk for dehydration. I think about greater than eight episodes per day of vomiting or diarrhea or both. I think about a child who seems not to be able to hold fluid down, especially if your child has not peed in greater than eight hours or greater than three times a day. You really want to seek medical care because that child may need a little bit more help in staying hydrated. Likewise, if your child has a fever that's over 104 degrees, he needs to be seen within 24 hours. If that fever is over 105 degrees, you want to make sure that he or she is seen immediately to see what is causing the fever and whether it's something that might be quite dangerous. Uh, if there's blood in the stool, that could be a sign of a very serious intestinal infection, so your child needs to be seen immediately if there's blood in the diarrhea. Likewise, if he or she has severe abdominal pain, can't stand up, can't walk, that might suggest something like appendicitis and also needs to be evaluated immediately. So now, let's say you have a child who doesn't meet those criteria. He or she doesn't have a very high fever or a fever that's gone on more than three days. He or she seems to be well hydrated. They don't seem dehydrated. They're peeing okay. The mouth is not dry when he or she cries. There's not you know, a shortage of tears, well then you probably have more of a viral gastroenteritis and you can try taking care of this at home. Most important is fluid, fluid, fluid. I cannot emphasize that enough. People will say, oh, every time I give them fluid they throw up or it just runs right through them, so I stopped. Don't stop. Important to know, even when your child throws up, they can only throw up about 60% of the gastric content. So even though it looks like it all came back, it probably didn't all come back. Some of it stayed down. So the idea is to keep the child hydrated. Now the question is with what? Well, for mild symptoms, really almost any fluid will do. Soup, uh, soda, even juice in some cases, milk, if it's fluid, it's good. But in cases where there's diarrhea, especially severe diarrhea, there are some things you want to avoid. Fruit juices especially will make diarrhea worse because the sugar in the juice draws water into the intestine. The same problem comes up with soda and even with Gatorade, which has a lot more sugar than it does salt. So you want to move to balanced hydration fluids, things like Pedialyte, Enfilite, K-Electrolyte. All these fluids have a similar concept. They have relatively balanced quantities of salt and sugar so that they don't make the diarrhea worse. Now any fluid is better than no fluid except in that case of diarrhea like we talked about. Second of all, try small frequent sips of fluid. When you load the stomach up with a bunch of fluid at once, the stretch receptors kick in and vomiting is more likely to occur. So I talk about the dripping faucet theory. Just give one teaspoon of fluid every two or three minutes. You can sit on the couch with your child if you're watching television and every time a commercial comes on they take a sip. Or you can use any kind of timing like that but just dribbling in a little bit of fluid. If you've ever had a leaky roof or a dripping faucet, you know how much fluid will actually uh, pass in that amount of time. And that's a great way to keep a child hydrated who is well hydrated. Now for diarrhea, when you talk about home remedies, one thing that may actually be helpful is lactobacillus supplements. You can buy these at most drug stores or health food stores without a prescription. And lactobacillus may indeed shorten the duration of a viral gastroenteritis. However, let me emphasize again, for high fever, prolonged fever, blood in the stools, or apparent dehydration, get your child to a doctor because it is time to give up on the home remedies and see what else you can do. Talking about home remedies for diarrhea and vomiting in your child, I'm Dr. David Hill.